Next point is a very important one. The entities which I am reopening are not reopening as business as usual. Each of these entities will be subject to, suspe su to specific restrictions, including adherence to the minimum basic operations, social distancing, and regular sanitation. Minimum basic operations includes, but is not limited to screening workers for fever and respiratory illness, enhancing workplace sanitation, wearing gloves and masks if appropriate, separating workspaces by at least six feet, and teleworking where at all possible, and implementing staggered shifts. Subject to the specific social distancing and sanitation mandates, theaters, private social clubs, and restaurant dine-in services will be allowed to reopen on Monday, April the 27th. We, rele we will release more information over the next few days. Bars, nightclubs, operators of amusement park rides, and live performance venues will remain closed. In the days ahead, we will be evaluating the data and conferring with public health officials to determine the best course of action for those establishments. By taking this measured action, we will get Georgians back to work safely without undermining the progress that we all have made in this battle against COVID-19. Today's announcement is a small step forward and should be treated as such. The shelter in place order is still active and will expire at 11.59 p.m. on April the 30th for most Georgians. We urge everyone to continue to follow CDC and DPH guidance by sheltering in place as often as you can. Limit your travel and limit who goes with you on errands to prevent potential exposure. If possible, wear a mask or covered clothing when you're in public to slow the spread of coronavirus. For the medically fragile and elderly Georgians, make plans to, to shelter in place through May the 13th, the date Georgia's public health emergency expires. Given the heightened risk of adverse consequences from your exposure to coronavirus, this is recommended and the safest path forward. We will release more details as we near the end of the month so the medically fragile and elderly Georgians will have adequate time to prepare. I want to continue to call on all my fellow Georgians to protect our elderly, limit your direct contact, and help them navigate the weeks ahead. As I have been doing with my mom during this time to ensure that she doesn't have to go out, I urge Georgians, all Georgians, to do the same for your loved ones and your neighbors if you are able. Do what you can to help those in need. For places of worship, Holding in-person services is allowed, but under the phase one guidelines, it must be done in accordance with strict social distancing protocols. I urge faith leaders to continue to help us in this effort to keep their congregations safe by heeding the advice of public health officials. Of course, online call-in and drive-in services remains a good option for religious institutions. I do want to thank all of the faith leaders across this state who have stepped up and put their congregations in their state many times in front of their own institutions for the greater good. I'm so thankful for you all, and I know many of you that is a painful decision that you had to make, and I know that financially it is tough as well. I feel that pain myself. But I want to thank you and encourage you to do the right thing and to help us continue to fight the coronavirus. I also realize that there are people that want to go back to in-person services. And if you do, just make sure you are following the advice and the guidelines. And I've spoken to many who are already implementing those policies, and we're glad to help you in that fight.